guys, here we are, Lifestyle Reviews at Fort Park today. You can see you've got a fantastic skyline of all the rides. Really looking forward to today, looking forward to try and walk in dead the ride. Uh, we haven't tried Darren Browns either, it's been what, three, four years since we've been, so hopefully try and get some rides in. Should be a good day. Alright guys, here we are, Fort Park Resort, heading towards the Walking Dead ride, but I must say, congratulate Fort Park on this. The entrance and the whole way it's done with the music, the atmosphere is fantastic now. Oh, so it looks really good, yeah. Definitely a heads up, five stars. Get yourself to Fort Park. Alton Towers is a good park too, but the theming and overall, this is fantastic. So definitely. Get yourself to Fort Park, Walking Dead the ride, that's where we're heading next. We're actually in the attraction area now. If you look behind you, you've got the watchtower. Some of the theming looks fantastic. You wouldn't think this is X. The music's great, the atmosphere. So the ride's just as good as I say it is. You know, we were really stoked for Wicked Man. This looks like it may be a good uh, thing for full park here. Definitely. Can't film a POV, but we'll try and film the after stuff. Yeah, should be a good ride, hopefully. You know, you've been on the road for a while. But before you can enter the safe zone, you need to answer three questions. You at the back, how many walkers have you killed? How many people have you killed? Why? guys we've literally just experienced walking dead the ride absolutely brilliant experience it certainly surpasses x the theming on it's incredible 
the bit where you're actually on the ride, I mean, the whole thing's amazing. I mean, but the actual pre-show and the bit where you walk through was really impressive. Do you agree? Yeah, it's really good, yeah. It's brilliant. And the ride itself, I mean, it's so, totally different. It so suits The Walking Dead rather than X. So yeah, top five, get yourself to Fort Park, definitely give it a try. guys so yeah I just gave you a brief review of um, Walking Dead the ride so we're in Angry Birds Land now there's the uh, detonator drop town a funny story we once came here once this is when we we're a bit more screamish of rides and things and you know it looks like a kid's ride doesn't it you think oh, it's only gonna drop a bit at a time the freaking thing drops you like 50 miles an hour straight down there yeah we were a bit shocked weren't we just yeah. a bit surprised probably one of the most extreme rides of the park but anyway so we're here so we're probably gonna have a look at the 4D thing we'll probably go on that in a bit and we've got Nemesis so that's the plan for a bit now.
Thank you. Cheers. Miss it. All right, guys. Basically, we've done Angry Birds 4D. Fantastic as always. Definitely one of the best 4D attractions in the UK. As for this ride, absolutely amazing. A lot of people have said the VR is not very good. But personally, depends how you put the goggles on. If you got them on properly, then you get a good experience. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Fantastic ride. Five stars. And the fact that you don't actually leave the train. You know, it stays in that one spot, the train is amazing. The whole experience is brilliant. So yeah, five stars. Now we're gonna head over to uh, Nemesis and uh, yeah, we'll see what comes after that. All right guys, so now we're just heading to Stealth. You've got to admit, I think out of the two, Rita and Stealth, Stealth's definitely the better version, isn't it? Because you've got the big drop yeah. at the top. It gives you that extra sort of uh, adrenaline boost there, doesn't it, in yeah. a way? So, definitely better out of the two sort of, uh, what do you call them? My oh. bird, just blast off rides, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. This, this one's 0 to 80, whereas Rita's 0 to 60, isn't it? So this is a better one anyway. So yeah, should be good. <laughs> So yeah, everyone just got off stealth. Running well for this season, still an amazing ride. Still one of the best launch coasters in Europe by far. So yeah, we're about to pop on, you know, a bit more of a chilled ride now. Gonna pop on Rumble Rapids, see what the updates are for this season. So see you guys after. All right, guys, so yeah, we come off Rumble Rapids. Still a good ride. The theming for 2018 is a lot better. It's had a bit of a repaint. The tunnel bits had a bit of work. So yeah, that looks really good. The little burn trees, added extras. Yeah, so overall good ride. Definitely better than the old Towers version. Oh yeah, it's really good. Much, much better. Like you said, the re-theming was much better, wasn't it? Oh, a hell of a lot better. Hell really, of a lot. Really. It, it really needed that facelift, so that's how oh, it is. But yeah, so um, we just had some lunch at a Burger King. Why not? So, and then we're just gonna head towards probably Storm Surge now. And then, uh, and then we're going to go on Nemesis. We seem to be putting it off all day, but we're going on our attractions, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, sidetracked. Getting sidetracked, because there's so much cool stuff to see, really, isn't there? No, it's not yeah. been here for a year. So yeah, we'll uh, get some little side shots of uh, Storm Surge, and we'll check in later.
right guys, so yeah, I just thought I'd run over what I've experienced so far. So yeah, I had a very, very good night last night. Saw all the rides in the dark, all the skyline, looked fantastic with all the rides. We had a nice meal in uh, Finn's Bar and Grill, which is really good. And then we had a, quite a nice sleep, it's a comfy room, nice breakfast this morning as well, so we're quite happy with all that, it was good. So ready for day two, and uh, we'll try and cover the rides we didn't cover yesterday. So yeah, should be a good day. Right then guys, so yeah, as I spoke to you earlier, we're just waiting for the park to open. The park is pretty much officially open, everything's opening, which is good to see. We're just going to head over to Colossus now, and saw but what an absolutely beautiful day is. So we're trying to get as many rides as we can. Yeah, it should be a good day. So yeah, we're just heading towards Colossus and Saw. Must say for the 2018 season, it's pretty much looking the same, but still looks very clean. Looks like they've repainted bits here as well, which is quite nice to see. Gives it a nice new look. But yeah, the area still looks as good as it always did. The ride looks like it's performing fantastically for 2018, which is great to see. Yeah, it's just a fantastic area, the Lost, um, the Lost City. I just, I really like it. The theming's really good, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. And it's amazing how you can literally, you're literally walking through the ride, because the ride's all above you. The tracks are way besides. It's really nice. There's the shop, across the shop. I'll probably say my two favourite parts of the park are definitely this part, the second swarm. Just this theming's just, you know, it's quite good. And the immersiveness of the ride and everything, so. We're gonna head over to uh, Colossus now, go on that. See what the ride's like for this season. Film some of the flat rides, get some off-ride footage. Unfortunately, we can't do POVs, as you know, Merlin's policy on that. We'll get some off-ride footage. And we'll have a look at Saw as well, because Saw's in the same sort of vicinity. See how that's running for this season. Yeah, we'll let you know what we think after. Yeah, so everyone's just come off Colossus. Was it as rough as you thought? Or? No, it was really smooth. I really liked it. It was running really well for this season. Yeah, yeah. It's excellent. But yeah, first ride of the day. Excellent stuff. As you can see, Samurai's coming soon. Yeah, the swords are so down at the moment. But as you know, with it being hot today, more maintenance is required. So they'll be open a little bit later in the day. But yeah. But yes, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head towards Logger's Leap. See if we can get some sneaky shots. Because supposedly coming soon it's still not there you know it'd be nice to know what's happening with it it'd be nice to know as you'll see no no redevelopments taking place the ride is still pretty much keep still i don't know whether you can slightly hinge over the fence if you can get shot if you can new viewers will be able to see that better than we can but i'm assuming we got a little bit of a shot of that yeah, this is pretty much the area where Logger's Leap used to be now. It's pretty derelict. They put a rocking tugboat over there. That used to be the ride station. So many nostalgic memories, isn't it, with it? Yeah, it is. It's such a good ride. I loved it. Uh, the sign's been taken down now and it's all blocked off. It's weird because we haven't been back here since it's been closed. So it's quite, actually, quite upsetting seeing it like that, actually, because so many good memories on that ride. And you, there used to be like a, you can still see the drop actually. You just look for the top of the trees here. You can still see the free, the free man drop. I, I loved it. It was such, such a good ride. 
But they've done well to cover it up, haven't they? You know, to mash it in the area. That's not bad. They've still got the classic Rocky Express. And of course, new for the 2017 and 2018 season, the Rocking Tugboat. Best so, ride in the park. Uh, just, it still makes me laugh how they've given it like a, a big ride station, like the queue's going to be massive in there, you know. But And they've given another little uh, lumber jump, so kind of the same. What I feel Merlin have done is they've basically done what they've done with Cloud Cuckoo Land and just tried to fill it out, haven't they? Yeah. But, you know, it's a shame to see. But hopefully Fort Park's got some big plans for redevelopment and hopefully a new coaster will be coming our way. So fingers crossed on that one. There's a um, sign for the Living Nightmare Maze. Well, that's supposed to be open in the summer, isn't it? Yeah, May. Um, mostly summer holidays, that type of thing. So that'll be quite nice to see. There you go. It says it's coming this May, half term only. Boss is running. Here comes the ride up the track. Lift hill. Yeah, so there we go. So that's pretty much Logger's Leap area. The same situation, like I said before. It's exactly the same situation as what's happened to Old Tower. So hopefully we'll have some redevelopment and some new rides. There we go. So last time I spoke to you guys, we we're just coming back from where Logger's Leap was. And we noticed actually Army Celebrity is actually closed. Unfortunately, it's not opening until later in the summer. Maybe it's to do with what's, what's in the news, you don't know, so we'll have to wait and see. But it would have been nice to experience it, as, as you went on it last year, but I don't think I came last year, right? No, 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 no. So that would have been nice to experience it, but we'll experience it later in the summer. So yeah, we're heading towards Nemesis Inferno now, we'll get a ride on that, see what it's like for this season. And then we'll probably cool down on the rapids. That sounds like a good plan. Right, yeah, so we're just, we've uh, been on um, Rapids, on uh, Rumble Rapids, but now we're just heading towards um, Swarm. We just walked through Tidal Wave, trying to get hit by the massive wave. So excuse if we're rushing a bit from there. But yeah, heading towards Swarm, that will be the first ride of the season on that, see how it's running. But Swarm amazes me, I mean the theming around the area, and the ride itself, and it was one of Fort Park's biggest investments as well, you can see that, just with the theming. So, yeah, we'll go and see what's new for this season over there. Might even see if we can film a bit of the pre-show in there. Some of the theming, the elements, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys over there. I've just arrived at Swarm. I must say, seen the theming so many times, but it amazes me every time. It looks fantastic. I mean, look, you've literally got an ambulance placed in the ground. It looks like it's been burned and set on fire. You've got half an airplane. You've got a freaking massive billboard and they have a massive hole in it. Army thing. The theming of half a church. The theming in the park is just fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. So, and the ride itself, I'm sure I've raced that very high. It's probably one of Fort Park's best. Of all. But we'll sh show you more of the theming. Hey, right. Show you more of the theming. 
you've got a fire truck over here and every now and then all the fire bursts out the top. Yeah. And there's a crashed helicopter in the corner. It's just a theming itself. And then the ride obviously adds to the experience as well, so it's fantastic really. What's your favourite bit of theming around here? Probably the um, upside down ambulance. That is cool, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you'll notice, as soon as it gets to this point, some fire will burst out the top of here. If you notice the little joke there, don't lose your head when you go through the thing. Head ease. And you've got a crashed helicopter over here as well. But the blades are sort of turning. When it comes to theming, Merlin has definitely cracked it with Swarm and Wicker Man, two of UK's best. Yeah, we're coming to get a closer shot on this one. Rides going around now, so we get some good shots of this. Now you go through the thing. UK's first winged coaster. Fantastic stuff. Now let's go ride it. So yeah, we just come off Swarm. How would you say it ran this season? Oh, really good. Yeah, it was really good. Runs well every season. Fantastic ride. Second best in the UK. As you know, my first will always be Wicker Man. Wicker Man was just awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we're walking along. It's all this uh, coke thing over there. Zoom in on there. It's like self-freezing coke. So I thought we'd give a little review on it. So basically what you do is you uh, un unscrew the lid. So you unscrew the lid, per se. You take a sip and then you turn it up and it all turns to ice. Which I thought was pretty cool. It's nice on a hot day like this. So if you're ever in Fort Park, it's a fun little thing to get. It's the same price as a normal Cokes. And you know, it's a lot colder because you get all the ice and everything in there. So worth grabbing while you're in there. Next up, I think we're probably going to do the Walk of Dead ride again. Want to get a second experience and a second review on that. And uh, yeah, then we'll see how else we can fit in. Should be a good day. still running really good this season which is good to hear and uh, yeah theming's still all on it's looking really good got all the smoke down the top of the volcano but it ties in really well I've noticed with detonator now I know it's, I know it's still part of Angry Birds land but they both tie in really well together as you saw from the um, off-ride shots yeah so what we're gonna try and do now is we're gonna have some lunch probably go to Burger King or the Mexican and then what we'll do after that is we'll go on Darren Brown's again want to get a second opinion on it and, uh, and then we'll just take it as it goes. We've still got sort of ride to do. So yeah, we'll uh, catch you later. So, yeah, so we've uh, just come off Darren Brown. It's a good ride as always. I think we had a better ride on it personally yesterday because the VR today wasn't really on par, was it? No. It, it was still good. One thing we did see today, which I'm really pleased we did, we put that in the vlog, 
sort of um, after uh, was we right at the end of the ride. I won't give too much away, but it's it's quite interesting. There's some really good effects going there, isn't it? Yeah. So you have to come to Fort Park and experience it yourself, obviously. But that was brilliant. But then we thought to ourselves, you know, why don't we go on uh, Nemesis Inferno? Fortunately, it's closed. Uh, check the app, it's still sort of 30 minute queue. So we walked over to have a look, see what's going on. Uh, there was actually an ambulance there, security and um, park officials sort of blocking it off. So I hope no one was injured and I hope um, things are okay. I mean, we don't know what's happened, so fingers crossed the wall is all right. But, uh, but yeah, we're heading over to Saw now. That will actually be the last ride of the day. And then, uh, then the vlog will come to an end. So we'll tell you what we think of Saw for this season. Uh, and then we'll catch you guys after. All right, so we just walked over to Saw. Basically, it's not going very well the last hour. That's broken down as well by the looks of it. They're actually stuck at the top. So, I don't know what's happening there. It may start running in a minute. It may just be a glitch or something, but it doesn't look like they'll be getting on that for a bit. But we'll wait here and see what happens. We've just uh, showed some scenes of the area, you know, the Saw area. It's some really impressive theming again. I've seen all the movies. It is a really good ride. Unfortunately, as you can see, come back later time, so we're not sure what's happened. But as you saw from previous shots on there as well, it looks like some of the ride cars are actually stopped. So, I don't know what's happened. For you guys, then we do know anything. If we don't, then uh, yeah. So, we won't be going on Saw today, by the looks of it. Technical problems. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can find to do next. We're probably going to water ride. It's so freaking hot, so yeah, catch up with you guys later. Guys, so we had a fantastic break at Fort Park Resort. Must say, it's been fantastic to actually try the new rides. Walking Dead, the ride, absolutely amazing on my top list. And Darren Brown, first time doing that as well. Thoroughly enjoyed them all. So, really, really good experiences. Got some re rides on some of the uh, classic rides for this season. Must say, they were running amazing and the theming's brilliant. So, Fort Park, out of the breaks I've had so far. All the points go to you. Fantastic time. Get yourself to Fort Park to try these new attractions. As you can see, I'm currently soaked because we've just been on Tidal Wave. It's so hot today, so it had to be done. But anyway, check out our channel on YouTube, Lifestyle Reviews. Remember to subscribe, hit that notifications button, and keep it on, please, for future uploads. Anyway, we'll catch you next at Chesington World of Adventures to check out Tiger Rock. And please subscribe, share, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, everything. We'd appreciate the support. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon.